Okay, so to build a LLP table, which is a laser light plane, you use lasers, as you can see here. Uh, some of the advantages is that you don't need a compliance surface, so no silicone pouring involved. You can use any type of surface you want on top, uh, acrylic or glass or anything you want. There's no LEDs. You don't have to have a closed box. It's pretty simple and it's really cheap too because all you really need is the lasers and that's it. Uh, disadvantages are you can't use fiducial, so you can't do object tracking. Um, it's also not pressure sensitive and the problem that runs into a lot of people is that they don't have enough lasers. Um, this is a demo table so all I'm using is two. You typically want to do four or greater no matter what size. Um, that's because as you put your fingers on it you're not, you don't want to block uh, any you know, light coming from either side. Um, so what I've done is really simple, uh, cheap and expensive. Taken a thick piece of acrylic here, drilled a slot straight down so this is actually through the acrylic and then I put a smaller piece underneath. Uh, screws on each side so you can adjust uh, you know all the different directions by increasing or decreasing and then I've put a piece of tape over it. Um, each laser has a lens which has a grooved piece of plastic on the outside. You want to have it up and down just like that to create a plane and you screw that on and it shoots the plane right across. Okay, so in an LLP setup to align the lasers, um, first off, always make sure you're wearing laser protection. Uh, these goggles here, the ones that I sell in the store, block all the wavelengths of light set infrared, so you should be good with those. Um, wear them at all times while you're aligning them. Even though the laser dot is going through a line lens and it will diffuse the intensity, you still should wear safety goggles so you don't want to burn your eyes. Okay. So basically you got the laser here, uh, we're going to throw the tape back over it just to push it down. I got the camera down there and as you can see this is the PSI test app that I'm running here so you can see where the laser is. Um, best way to do align the laser is to use a flat object, it's just a piece of wood, put it on your surface and then grab your camera and bring the camera up and align it so you can see in the image here there you go yeah you can see so this is the laser line here and as I turn the lens over here it will alternate and change this line so you can see here basically you want to create a very very thin line so you turn the lens here all the way, pretty much almost all the way, and you'll see as you turn it that this band here, the laser line, is basically um, getting thinner and thinner. You want that very thin line. You want to make sure that when you project it onto a flat object that it's just over the surface. And what that'll do is basically it'll light up your fingers. It's hard to see in the video, but my fingertips are basically the only thing that's lit up and that's really important so it comes down as soon as you only as soon as you touch it does it break that plane and your fingers light up um, if you want to see what it looks like from down below basically this is the screen capture and now these are my fingers so you can see it's only as soon as I touch that it lights up the most so you would do that for both lasers, or actually all four, because you want to have at least four lasers. Um, Alright, so, turning on CCV. Let's do a background subtract. And you should get your blobs. So there you go. Only as soon as you touch the surface. Kind of like FTIR. Basically the goal of all these optical tracking systems is to make it so that only as soon as you touch the surface do you get blobs. Unless of course you want to do hovering. Um, some bars like the eye bar and stuff worked on basic hovering interaction. Whereas most people want finger XY coordinate interaction. 
So this is an LLP setup. Um, throw on some apps here. 